Yeah, hi, uh, guys. What up? It's my Hi Six here, back in with a new Broncos video, and I'm gonna be um, you know, going through the 53-man roster the guys that the guys that got cut this year didn't really piss off people that much as much as last year, and that doesn't make sense because I just woke up and I can't talk today, and uh, you know I'm gonna go through everybody. I know it's gonna take half an hour. You know, I got. I'm gonna do a stream in half an hour. This is poor timing, but you know, let's start off with the quarterbacks. Uh, Jeff Driscoll, Drew Lock, Drew Lock's obviously starting. Jeff Driscoll, the kind of veteran guy we got. I think he played for. Uh, he played for Detroit. He played for San Francisco. He played for Cincinnati. Uh, we played him actually a, a year ago when we had Case Keenum, and we played his team last year against Detroit. We got a lot of Detroit players this year. But, uh, you know, decent quarterback room. Running backs. Everyone knew this was going to be the, the three. Um, Melvin Gordon, Phil Blinsey, Royce Freeman. We don't know who's, like, the official starter, but I'm assuming it's Phil Blinsey because he's been carrying the team since 2018. Uh, he's a great, 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 great running back. Um, you know, and, you know, Melvin Gordon's going to be the guy that can he, he can catch passes. He can, he's, he's a better blocker. Royce Freeman, I think, like the third and one, like the one situation, he's a big back. He can get through. Like, I think we have a decent running back core. Receivers. Corlin Sun is our number one receiver. No doubt about it. Jerry Judy, our number two. No doubt about it. K.J. Hamler, I think he'll miss a... I don't know if he's ready uh for week one but we'll see um he's a good slot guy Deshaun Hamilton he had some chemistry late in the season with Drew Locke Tim Patrick Tim Patrick um you know he's still something I thought he was gonna get cut this year and people would outrage and do riots but no he, he's staying with the team uh Devontae Spencer he's gonna be a return guy everyone knows that and Tyree Cleveland I don't know he'll probably play special teams most of the time I think we'll use Cortland, Judy, Hamler, Hamilton, and Patrick most of the time for actual, like, passing quarterback to receiver play. But, you know, obviously our kick returner, punt returner is Deshaun, uh, I mean, Deion Spencer. And Tyree Cleveland is, I, I'm assuming he's going to be, he's going to be on special teams a lot. But we'll see what he can do. All right. Uh... Tight ends. We're keeping, like, a lot of tight ends. Noah Fant is our designated starter. Yes, sir. I love Noah Fant. Nick Vanette was signed for blocking. I don't know why. Uh, you know, we signed him, really. If we didn't sign him, we wouldn't really have that much. We we kept five tight ends, apparently. So, I'll, I'll take it, apparently. But, you know, we'll see what Nick Vanette can do. Uh, Albert O. I can't say his name. Albert O. Uh, played with Drew Locke in college in Missouri. See what he can do. Andrew Beck, I'm happy he stayed with the team. I, I'm a big Andrew Beck fan. I know Pat Shermer doesn't use his fullbacks a lot, but, you know, he when we need a fullback, he's there, and he's decent at blocking. Jake Butt, I don't know why he made the roster. He's going to get injured again. And I don't want him to get injured again. I'm rooting for him. We drafted him. And people expected him to be the next top tight end, but no. Oh, well. All right. Our offensive line, Garrett Bowles. Enough said. Dolan Reisner, he's going to win. He's going to be a poor war this year. Lloyd Cushenberry, he's our center boy. Graham Glasnow, he's our guard. Elijah Wilkerson, he can play any position except center. I don't think I've never seen him play center. Demir Dotson, and we signed him to play right tackle, and he's probably going to be starting right tackle. Austin Schlopman, you know, I just like saying his name. Nite Moody, good, um, he's a rookie, and he made the roster awesome. Good job for him, and, you know, we'll see what he can do in the future. Uh, he's a guard, and I think he can play tackle as well, so that's awesome. Calvin Anderson, I don't know, he's probably deaf. <laughs> Some of these guys I don't even know. Yeah, Jake Rogers and Patrick Morris got cut because they deserve it. What? <laughs> okay. Defensive line, Jarrell Casey. Mm, mm, mm. I'm happy we got him. Jarrell Casey's going to be a stud. Um, uh, yeah, I like Jarrell Casey a lot. 
and uh, it was a good trade, only seventh round pick. I know he's not; he's worth a little bit, but you know he's still a Pro Bowler, and he's still going to pull put up Pro Bowl numbers. Mike Purcell, our nose tackle. I think this is his last year. Uh, Shelby Harris, defensive tackle. I think this is his last year. Draymond Jones, and he's going to be stepping up once Darrell Casey leaves. Uh, Tevin uh, again. Uh, a lot of people love him of uh, Arkansas. He played for the Razorbacks. I want to see what he can do this season. All our rookies made the camp except, I mean, all our rookies made the team except Derek Tezuka, and that sucks. Because Tezuka was something, but, you know, let's see what he could do with the practice squad. Demarcus Walker, people said this guy was going to get cut, this guy. No, prior to his injury, he led the team in sacks, and I don't know why no one sees that. I know he's not the best defensive end, but give him a shot, and the this is his last shot with the Denver Broncos this year. I guarantee it. Like, they're not going to give him any more chances to... Like, if he gets hurt, he's gone. If he plays poor, he's gone this year. Like, this is his last shot of being a Denver Bronco. And if he, if he plays very well, he's going to be earning a contract and he's going to stay with this team a long time. Like, I like DeMarcus Walker. Last year, he showed why he was a second-round pick in 2017. He showed that, and, you know, I'm happy that we got him. But I don't... I want him to succeed. Alexander Johnson's obviously our best linebacker. Then we got Josie Jewell going to be starting. Uh, Well, this is... He's finally getting his opportunity to start. And then our depths is Mark Barron, John Jones, and Austin Ka Calatorio. Uh, yeah, other than Alexander Johnson, this is, uh, scary. I don't want, I don't want to see an opposing tight end. So, outside linebackers, Vaughn Miller, Bradley Chubb, uh, Jeremiah Tatu, and Malik Reed. Solid, one of the best outside linebacking cores in the league. Chubb and Miller. Chubb and Miller, it's just, that's all I can say, man. If they can do the same thing they did in 2018... You know, it's going to be scary. It's going to be scary for the rest of the league. And they're going to, they're going to, you know, they're going to fear us. All right, our cornerbacks. A.J. Boye, Bryce Callahan, Devontae Harris. Man, I love this guy. Michael Ojemudia, Duke Dawson, and Askrab Bassey, who was signed as an undrafted free agent. So we have a couple rookies making the roster as a corner. You know, I know cutting Bosby was tough for the guys, for everybody, all the fans. But at the same time, he was injured. He was injured last year, and he, people said he was injured during camp. They cut him. Um, Devontae Harris, he earned it, okay? You guys are going to sleep on Devontae Harris. He's going to be decent this year. Uh, I love Devontae Harris. I thought he played He played way better than Isaac Adam. He, he, he actually played Duke Dawson. Uh, you know, he didn't even play last year, but, you know, he, he has Super Bowl experience off the bench, really. So, you know, I can't wait to see what these corners do this year. Bassey, uh, I don't know that much about him. He was undrafted, but I want to see what he can do. Probably going to be, uh, alright. Safeties. We only have three safeties. I thought we were going to keep Coleman, but, you know. So we got Justin Simmons, our Lord and Savior, the best defensive player on the team, the captain of the secondary, Justin Simmons. Um, yeah, I love Justin Simmons. Kareem Jackson, I love him too. Yeah, I know he got that DUI last year. He was hurt for one game, but, you know, he's back. I think he can play a full 16 games. He can hit hard. You know, he can make the picks. He can get the picks when he can. And I just love love me some Kareem Jackson. Trey Marshall, he, he he earned this spot just because he got that fumble against the Raiders in Week 17. To be real. But, you know, he's a good depth safety when you need him. At, at most, no, we don't have uh, Will Parks anymore. We don't have well, Coleman's on the practice squad. So, you know, I, yeah, it sucks. It sucks, but it is what it is. All right, what else? Oh, uh, we're almost done. Actually, we are done. Uh, we're we're done. Kicker, Brandon McManus. Brandon McManus. I love me some Brandon McManus, man. He was the MVP of the offense in 2015. <laughs> to be real, because it wasn't that good. Um, hopefully we have a great offense this year. Uh, Brandon McManus, great kicker. I love him. 
and he's on Amir's fantasy team, so, you know, that'll be makes all the kicks he can. Uh, punter Sam Martin, we got him from Detroit. Again, we have three guys that we acquired from Detroit, and he's one of them. Uh, you know, decent punter. He's probably going to be, he's going to be better than, uh, Colby Wadman, who sucked in Mile High. He couldn't punt for shit. And I saw him live, and he sucked. Uh, long snapper, Jacob Bowman... Morrow. Uh he was he played in Colorado, that's all I know. And launch snappers don't really matter. Don't really matter. So yeah, that's that's the entire roster folks. I'm very confident in this team. Here's my official prediction. We're going ten and six. I don't see eleven and five. I think it's impossible eleven and five. And our floor is eight and eight, really. If we the worst we can go is eight and eight, but the best I think we can go is ten and six with this roster. And um I can't wait till Monday night football next week, man. Next week, man. We got twelve days. I mean not uh, wait fuck. Eight days. Eight days till the Denver Broncos I'm so fucking excited, man. Um so yeah, I know this has been ten minutes or so, but it's gonna be a premiere. And it's probably going to be at 5 o'clock. So, you know, just stop on by and watch this stuff. So, you know. Um, yeah, so that was my in-depth uh, take on this Broncos 53-man roster. I think we have a decent squad. I think we, we, um, we have a lot of rookies on this team, like a few. Like we have, I think we only have one undrafted rookie this year. And that was uh, Basey or whatever thing was the corner. So, uh, so yeah, um, you know, I love uh, I love this team. I can't wait to see them play. And you know what? Other than that, Mile High Six I got up. Peace. Have a good day. Stay safe. Stay sober. And uh, you know, go Broncos. Go Maple Leafs. Go Raptors. Go Jays. Go Clemson Tigers. And just have a good day, man. Just have a good day.